A very good morning to you and welcome to the ASX of Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Kalkine Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market is expected to open lower today. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.3% fall. Yesterday, the share market closed 0.20% higher at 7,207. Looking at business news from this morning now, engineering company the Monodelphus Group has been awarded a major multidisciplinary construction contract with Liontown Resources valued at approximately $100 million. The contract is for the construction of the wet plant at the Kathleen Valley Lithium Project, which is located in the northern goldfields region of Western Australia. The works under the contract are expected to be completed in mid-2024. Monodelphus Managing Director Zoran Abebic says the award extends the company's significant portfolio of construction works secured to date this financial year and is a testament to Monodelphus' strong reputation for the safe and reliable delivery of major resources projects. The King Group today announced its intention to make an unconditional off-market takeover offer for all of the ordinary shares in the Pack Group Holdings. The offer will be made by Benjamin Industries, a wholly owned subsidiary of the King Group. The consideration under offer is 68 cents cash per packed share. The King Group has controlling interest of over 50% impact and given the King Group's current ownership, the prospect of competing offer eventuating is highly unlikely. In the absence of King Group's offer, the future value of PAC shares is uncertain. Vital Investment Partnership has entered into a block trade agreement with two financial institutions to underwrite the sale of 248.6 million ordinary shares in Viva Energy. This represents around 16% of the issued share capital in the company. Following the sale, Vital Investment Partnership remains the largest shareholder in Viva Energy with around 30% interest and the sale increases the free float of the company to 70%. Vital Investment Partnership has not previously sold any Viva Energy shares since its IPO more than five years ago. Viva Energy is one of Australia's leading energy companies and supplies around a quarter of the country's liquid fuel requirements. Well, let's take a break now, but I'll be back shortly with more news set to affect your trading day. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Kalkine Media's growing platform, Kalkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Kalkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guest team at kalkine.com. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel Jones. Now the Nasdaq slid 1.04%, the S&P 500 dropped 0.57%, and meanwhile the Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 0.05%. European markets closed mixed. London's FTSE gained 0.41%. Frankfurt fell 0.54% and Paris closed 0.35% lower. Looking at the Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei gained 0.95%, Hong Kong's Hang Seng fell 0.39%, while China's Shanghai Composite closed 0.18% lower. That's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.